today we don't have too much to do. Uh, we're still in kind of a lull. We're going to try to hook the disc up and kind of figure out where we're going to put the potatoes. That's really our biggest figuring out issue right now. It's just where we're going to put the fall potatoes. So we need to get them in the ground like this week. Um, we also got some more topsoil and some more um, the manure and things like that and compost that we're going to put in the raised beds. I didn't get it all full, you see. So I'm going to fill those up completely and then I'll show you what we did with the chickens. We just kind of uh, clean their pen up a little bit. So we're going to try to do some of that today. Not a lot really to do. It's, it's kind of it's a sunny day, beautiful day. Had good rains the last few days, if y'all remember. Um, but we're just going to try to see what we can do. Um, this rain, I'll tell you what this rain did do, though. As you can see, this tomato, these tomatoes are kind of playing out on the far side. Look how yellow these are. Some aphids there, we need to get those off. But um, They're looking good. We're going to try to spray these and try to finish them out. And we're actually going to probably go and pull them just because it's so hot here. Even with the good rains we've been getting, it's so hot that I don't honestly believe that those are going to thrive anymore because they they were on their last leg. They had about really about two or three weeks left, kind of in their growing stages. Uh, they put off about 20 or 30 tomatoes, and that that 20 or 30 right there that's on them will kind of finish up. Now these here um, are looking okay. The vines look kind of bad, but they're putting off some pretty green. Uh, uh, tomatoes the only thing is i'm having some major problems with with worms and also squirrels uh -oh. just a, a glimpse of of the cage chickens our layers you see how this was old hay that we could not use uh, for our cows well it's been wet so what we did is we put this old hay that's kind of just moldy and a little nasty um not great quality for our animals to eat in with the chickens and what the chickens will do is break it down with all the compost manure they've got doing their little stutter step they always do and then ultimately, when it dries, we'll be able to take this right back out and it will be just beautiful, beautiful compost manure that we can mix with our, uh, our true compost. So uh, our goal is to, to not waste. So when we buy hay or when we get hay or when we have old grass, um, we want to use it. So if our cows can't eat it and produce their own fertilizer for their own grass, we want to take the old grass and put it in here, let the chickens utilize it and work it good, and then, then turn around and we'll turn it turn it right back into garden compost and and utilize it very much so so we try not to waste and this is just one aspect of, of not wasting I want to hold this thing got a bucket full of hornworms we thought they were damaged from animals that's how many have like come overnight we just stood these up on the last two vlogs ago. ago yeah I mean just didn't see any hornworms and all of a sudden it's like the attack of the hornworms there's probably Ten in there, and I don't like these suckers. They're vicious looking. And I joked like there They're was one big. on her. She hit me <laughs> with her stick. You don't have a bruise. I've got like a bruise and a welt. No, you don't. You're a baby. <laughs> just don't put a worm on me. They, but look at the damage. I mean, they've just caused so much damage. It's actually, I mean, we're laughing about it, but it really upsets us because I mean, this is this, this was is, kind of some tomatoes for yeah. For this was uh, some fall. of the. This was some of the beds that we had been working on. Look uh, at the damage. Our, here's one. Look at the damage. Right here. Uh, 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 hold on. You want to do it? I mean, it's, it's really, I mean, I see a caterpillar too. Yeah. I mean, you know, honestly, I was thinking. Look at that pepper. It's beautiful pepper right here. I was thinking. There's one right here. Oh, that we were doing pepper. such a good job that. Because oh, I had actually not seen any. We and, have been. That's what I'm saying. We hadn't I mean, actually seen any. There's some caterpillars just right here. Randomly. It, like one. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. I mean, this is the beatenest thing I have ever seen. The beatness. Do y'all say that? It's just the a Mississippi thing? It's a beatness thing? Hey, can I make a fun of mine for me that works? Yes. Beatness yeah. thing, I thing. Yeah, they destroyed these tomatoes. We've got just a few. I mean, these were five, six foot already, and they were starting to turn green. I mean, starting to make and starting to turn green and kind of coloring up. But now, I think we're going to lose a lot of this harvest just because of the worms. Yucky worms. And I had 
had seen some damage like maybe a week ago, but I couldn't find them. I mean, I could not find it. Now we well, found like 30. Yeah. Literally. Now it's just like a, I mean, a bug. It's too late for the plants, but we're going to at least try to let the tomatoes turn and get the tomatoes and then just pull the plants up. Yeah, see, these were actually supposed to be beds going into late fall, but now we will actually maybe doing these. Um, then doing some other, some other kind of fruit or some kind of other vegetables for this time being. You can tell them what you found a while ago though, and we'll we'll go back and show them to them. A passion fruit. Well, I saw this really pretty purple flower. We were riding in the woods, and I I stopped and took a picture of it, and it said it was a passion flower. So we started looking into it, and it's a passion fruit, and uh, the fruit that it puts off is a passion fruit so we're super excited about that now these actually will not be ready to harvest until closer to winter so i thought that was very unique growing wild in our woods how cool is that and the one the variety we seen I, I don't, again we know nothing about this fruit so we're going to try to learn it it's kind of like elderberry or wild Pepper. blackberries yeah i know look at all the peppers There's um we're going to try to do some research on it but it looks like this is the pur the purple variety of passion fruit um, they're solid green right now, but the purple flowers, um, typically passion fruit shows is supposed to turn yellow uh, and kind of wrinkled or purple and kind of smooth and then turn wrinkled when they're ready and kind of fall off. And that's when you know they're ready to eat. So we're going to, I think we think this is going to be the purple variety. So, all right, well, let's do some more hornworm uh, hunting. Hornworm uh, hunting. All right, let's go over to the other ones and double check those because I think there's some damage over there too. They have just damaged all these tomatoes. That other side over there is what's really bad. So the tomatoes, the damaged tomatoes will go to the pigs. We're going to give the worms to the chickens. And um, I don't see any more right now. That doesn't mean that they're not there. And ah. these have just, I, I don't know what's going on with these in this bed. Um, Everything just looks so there bad. Are spots on the leaves, so I think yeah. that these might have gotten diseased. Um, but anyway, we're gonna give these to the chickens. Our chickens like these. Man, if one of those just fell on Misty right there, I would flip out. <laughs> it's like buffet. Why didn't you just like throw them in the door, sweetheart? Because I didn't want to open the door. It's muddy in there. I did it the hard way, though. Because they're hanging on to those leaves. Man, they're not even... They're like hitting the ground and not even... <laughs> they're not that even... That one is so fat, it'll hardly fit through. Look at that. That one is so fat right there, it'll barely fit through that wire. You see that? That's a massive hornworms. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken's running with it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look. I'm messing with worms. Don't mess with me. Quit. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out with the sticky one. She's touching worms. Anything that barely touches her, she jumps like she's going crazy over here. <laughs> They're like, I think each, each chicken got a worm. <laughs> That's how many worms are. You know the early bird gets the worm? That doesn't apply here. Every worm, every bird gets a worm this time. They like them too. Our chickens will eat them. They're smoking them. Look, they're all running around fighting over each other. Look, that woman over there, that little, little olive egg. She's trying to eat hers before everybody gets it, so she ain't stopped running yet. <laughs> Look, she's like, ah! And it's been raining and aiding in his water issues it's working now it's because he got the fear of god in him a while ago when i told him to come out here and make sure it's done all right our tomatoes are pretty much shot other than a few they just were doing they were doing so well i mean we just set these up and made them look great now between hornworms and fungus they're pretty much gone like look how bad those are eight right there Gorgeous tomatoes are just ruined. Yep, so we're just gonna chunk these over to the over to the pigs because they love them. They will become pork chops. I need to 
take them over there and give them to the pigs. <laughs> yep, see, like, here's one right here. There's a horn one right there. What? Yep. Oh, shoot. I put my hand by it! <laughs> <laughs> If Misty would have grabbed that hornworm, I wish we could get on camera. Grab that hornworm right quick. Oh, There's two right so. there, see? See it? Underneath yep. it. Yep. So let's get them. Boom. I like to see it! Let me point. Man, he flipped around. Don't need it, Mama. Mama. I wish you flip that thing and land on your sandal. <laughs> I'd squeal like a pig. Uh, what is it called? A pig. <laughs> squeal like a pig. Caterpillar. Stabbed pig? No, that doesn't sound right. What is it called? I just say squeal like a pig. Okay, I'd squeal like a pig. Then. So we thought we got them all. I just found. We just found four more. I only see four more. It's disheartening, though. I only see tomatoes. Wait, There's wait, mushrooms. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, that's from all the Ooh. rain we've had. There's one little. Don't sit on the tomatoes. Y'all keep looking for them. All right, well, we're gonna keep on looking and uh, getting the rest. What do you say, mommy? Hornworm hunting. Hornworm hunting. Oh, Not cool. We're gonna have to invest in the black light, light, which at this point in I season it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're but, pretty much But ended. I mean, these just really just got wiped out. I mean. I mean, we were just out here pinning these up. What, just a few four days. days ago, three days ago? Say, La! <laughs> she knocked them off. Ah! Trying to get Mama has some hornworms. Jackie don't want your feet. You get them on my feet, you girl. Mama may make you eat one of those. You a big star, girl. Look, it's like buffet over there, buddy. <laughs> She's going to break my chicken wire over a hornworm. All right, well, let me get the topsoil done. This is not the way we need to start this video, huh? Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Stop it. Nope, nope, nope. Let's go see our pig. They're enjoying the tomatoes, though. Well, we're going to wrap it up here on the hornworm hunt. Peppers are looking good, even though the tomatoes look so bad. But we hope you have a good rest of the day. That was a good fastball. Today <laughs> <laughs> has been a truly an epic fail. You see, I'm sweating me and nasty. Um, we did go ahead and pull up those tomatoes. They, they're pretty much gone. I mean, we were so excited because this was our progressional tomatoes, and uh, man, a matter of about three days, they were they were ate up, crazy. Um, so we we've got this bed prepped again. We're gonna let it rest for a little bit. We've got some new peat moss, some manure in there, that helps to keep it fine and granule. Plus, it had great compost in there already. So we're gonna let it let rest. We're gonna put another coat of topsoil on it, and probably some more peat moss, uh, and that way it'll be prepped for winter. Um, we took everything out of there aiden's been helping me too but we took all the tomatoes out left the peppers and so far the peppers are still doing great um they're starting to, to uh, really really produce so um not a great day but you know with everything we have to learn from our failure so uh those progressionary to uh, tomatoes here are not gonna <laughs> not gonna work so we're gonna go ahead and get these beds prepped uh for winter um uh, these will probably be our brassica beds. Um, we've got those two back prepped again and covered back up. So everything's pretty much ready. Um, we did not get to where we were wanting to get to, which is uh, disc and till in our main garden around some stuff, around the corn and around the pumpkins over on the other side. And we did not get the places where the potatoes uh, were supposed to be. So the life of homestead, huh, AP? It just happened, so. A uh, hard day here, but uh, got it done. The chickens ate well. They had about 42, 43 um, worms. And then uh, those beds will be next because they pretty much have played out too. So we'll see what happens. But again, uh, as we end this day, happy homesteading, y'all.